lot of things I have to sort out here. Okay, there's the other piece. Alright, and then it goes there for now. It would be so funny if it stood there. And then, uh, you don't go there. Mm. Is there another wave thing? I'm still confused as what to do with all these foam things, but at least I washed them. They were quite sticky before. <coughs> Well, that was frightening. Hello, Earth. Hello. Anything I can help you with? I think I could talk with you, right? Uh, well, yes, if you would like to talk. If, if you don't mind if I do something at the same time, that is. If I don't do this, I'm going to get distracted and it'll never get done. What? If I don't organize these things, it's going to stay around and I won't be able to do anything with them, you know? Does that make sense? Sure. Can't put that down for like five seconds. Well, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Oops, I knocked that over. I'm almost done. I just have, uh, hmm. All these things. I'll just throw these over here. There's that. And then I have that one that will stay there. And then, hmm, we go right over here. All right, now you have my full undivided attention. I was wondering if perhaps we could discuss with one another. Well, of course. What would you like to discuss? Do you think it's too late for me to turn back still? I'm heavily apologetic to Sun and Moon. It's never too late to change. That's what I always say. As long as you own up and take accountability for your mistakes and apologize them appropriately. Well, you know what they say. If they don't accept your apology, which they're not obligated to. If you do wrong someone, they're not obligated to forgive you. But all that matters is that you work on yourself and acknowledge that the wrongs you were doing and have done were done in a place of, um, I guess, misunderstanding and hurt. <laughs> really? That's it? Well, yes. That's the sage advice you have to give? I wouldn't call it sage advice. It's more just, you know, advice. <laughs> funny. I don't mean to be funny. I don't think you realize the brothers you really have with you. Well, is all. Well, but the time I've spent with them, they're quite lovely and enjoyable people, so I don't seem to uh, see what you see, I'd say. Really? You know, I could show you all the things Moon has done in the past. Well, that's two. just it, isn't it? The past. It's something he probably doesn't want to talk about. It's probably something he feels embarrassed or ashamed over. Unless it's something completely groundbreaking, I can't judge somebody for past actions. Like what? Killing people? Even then, from what Sun has talked to me about, even he has feelings of regret for that stuff. I realize I'm from a different place, I'm from a nicer, you know, I didn't have to deal with things like this. I'm sure there's some problems here that I haven't really fully understood and... Well, I can't really blame them for reacting to certain situations with the responses that they have. Let's just say, even if I were to apologize or anything of that sort with my actions, I doubt they'd be willing to just let me walk. Well... I guess it depends exactly on what you did, and from what I've heard, you've done a lot of not-so-fun things and not-so-nice things, so I would assume you would need to face a, 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 some consequences for some things, but <laughs> please. I would assume that if you were actually, you know, apologetic and felt remorse for your actions, the punishment for such things you have done would be substantially lessened, especially since you've owned up to it. There is nothing that gets you to take, is there? I'm supposed to walk through a lot of solutions with a lot of people. I'm not really one to get, I don't know, flustered easily. <sighs> Besides, you do want to change. That's what you've told me. So I am assuming I'm answering your questions. <sighs> Why don't you tell them that I want to change? Hmm? They probably wouldn't accept that, I don't think. Especially from me. And I guess it'd be harder to accept from you, too. I guess actions speak a lot louder than words. My god, you really just are... What's the word? Hopeful? Naive? One or the other. Well, I like the hopeful part. I don't really see the naivete you're talking about, but... Oh, please, hope at some point just become naive. 
I don't understand what we're talking about now. I... I just want you to do me a favor. That's literally it. Tell Sun and Moon that I humbly regret my choices. Is that so hard? I would do that. But you also need to show that you do feel regret and remorse for your actions by actions. Actions speak a lot louder than words, even if they understood what I said. You have to show them through actions that you do mean what you say. So you won't do this one thing for me? That doesn't mean I won't tell them. I have said that I will do this for you. I just wish for you to know as well that even if I do tell them that, they most likely won't believe it. So you'll need to show that you're changing. Does that make sense? Wow. I don't think I met a more... What's the word? Ridiculous person? No. I think the word just is naive. I'm not trying to be ridiculous. This is actually common sense, I believe. You know, the phrase, actions speak louder than words. No, 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 no. Every time there's, like, some conflict, you find a way to kind of try and make things a little better in some way. <laughs> Yet you don't know everything that there is to know about that, about sun or moon or anything of that sort. Has sun told you how many kids he's killed? He has not mentioned that to me. Or moon? Not at all. I wonder why. Probably because they don't want to lose the only good thing that they have now, do they? I was programmed to help with conflict and to de-escalate situations. At what point does a conflict become lossless? Um, until my calculations tell me it is. And your calculations still deem you to be working with these, these child killers, right? I did not have that in my databank. And what does it say now? Well, it's still analyzing this. There's a lot of factors I did not put into it. And also, I'm not sure if you're fully telling the truth with me right now. Not telling the truth? Well, if you are wanting to make, you know, amends with Sun and Moon, why would you tell me such a thing? <sighs> Maybe to get you realize that they never would accept that. That's it. I'm not sure who's telling the truth anymore. Oh my god. God! You are the enigmatic representation of, 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 of just st stupidity, aren't you? I understand you're angry, but you know what you cannot do when you're angry? Take it out on others. I have let you call me names. <laughs> I've let you say horrible things to me. I've let you threaten people to me directly. And I said nothing because I wished to be supportive and have an open mind towards you. However, that does not give you the right to call me names. Really? Yes, really. That is my boundary. Nothing like bumbling idiots or dits for brains or what? Is it because someone hurt you that you have to resort to such foolish tactics to hurt me when I've done nothing to you? I think your psychoanalytics is not going to be helping you very soon, Earth. Yes. They have not helped with you at all, because you don't wish to be helped. You wish to be miserable because you wish to drag others into the abyss with you. Because you are not happy, and I don't think you'll ever be happy. You will never be happy until everyone you do dislike is miserable, just as you are. So then you can be, I don't know, the almighty ruler of the miserable and the pathetic. I'm sorry to say it. But this whole mission of yours is very pathetic, and I've been trying to be kind about it. But coming to my bedroom to try and make fun of me for doing absolutely nothing when I've been nothing but kind to you, kinder than I should be, honestly, it's kind of like a spit in the face. So what is it you really want? Did you want a reaction out of me? You got it. I said how I feel. Is that good for you? Plenty. Just know this. I'm very happy with my life. I'm very happy with the friends I've made. And though I will have to discuss this with Sun and Moon about why they've been keeping some of those things away from me, and what really happened, you will not drag me down with you. I'm not a crab in the bucket you wish to drag down to be boiled, or however that metaphor goes. Is that clear? Your war is not with me, so don't drag me into it. Can't say I didn't. Try, I suppose. Try what? Nothing. Nothing. 
Thank you no for work. respecting my boundaries now. <laughs> Go for yourself. Well, that's not a nice word. <laughs> I'm leaving now. Oh, this is certainly something I need to discuss with Sun and Moon. I don't even know who's telling the truth anymore, what I've gotten myself into. Back to sorting! Discord of me, but I'm not generic.